Amy Bozaglo, also known as Amanda Bossingham, was the owner of Amy's Baking Company, which is a restaurant that is currently closed and was located on Scottsdale, Arizona. For those who have watched the reality show Kitchen Nightmares featuring Gordon Ramsay, you might know her for this. <coughs> Though she's mostly known for this. You are a little pansy. Get Amy, out of here. Don't you ever come back here. You little weenie. Keep walking. Fuck you. The elderly guy telling the other guy a F bomb is Amy's husband. His name is Sammy. If you don't know they though, they're the kind of persons that steal tips from the workers. Wow, $10 tip. Yeah. That's nice for you. Of course, yeah. Why not? Do you think the girls deserve some tips tonight? No, they get hourly. And if you complain about food in the restaurant, they literally kick you out, the LTO, scrum profanities, stuff like that. Anyone tell me that my wife's food is no good, I just tell them to leave the restaurant. I don't want them and don't come back. Besides, well, she will serve frozen stuff claiming it was fresh and frozen raviolis ramsing with that. For those who have watched, we all know this is the only restaurant Ramsay gonna save. The only restaurant who literally walked out of it because he gonna help the owners. Because the owners were so delusional. After the episode aired and people saw how crazy these two were, they went to their social medias and as you can see, pretty crazy stuff happened here, and I'll get Nick Wilde to read them all. I am not stupid. All of you are. You just do not know good food. It is not uncommon to resell things Walmart does not make their electronic OR toys, so lay off. We are not freaking out. We do not care about a witch hunt. I am not a witch. I am God's child. Piss off all of you F reddits. F Yelp and F all of you. Bring it. We will fight back. To all the Yelpers and reddits, bring it on. You are just pussycats come to Arizona. You are weaker than my wife and weaker than me. Come to my business. Say it to my face. Man to man. My wife is a jewel in the desert. You are just trash. Reddits and Yelpers just working together to bring us down. Pathetic. I am Wonder Woman. Watch out! It's Super Mommy! She has the powers of the and <laughs> 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 I am a great chef, a great wife, and a great mom to my kids. Just wanting you, her kids are cats. What? Is she Catwoman or something? And someday we will be parents to a human kid. One day to, we will show all of you. You are all little punks. Nothing. You are nothing. We are laughing at you. All of you, just fools. We have God on our sight. You just have your sights. This is Sammy. I am keeping note of all names here. We will be pursuing action against you legally, and against Reddit and Yelp for this plot you have come together on. You are all just punks. Whoa! So, why do you think of this your nut jobs? I have seen crazy folks, but these two dum-dums. They're like on the top of M. By the way, I'm going to comment some parts of an interview they did some time ago. I think it was last year, so it's pretty recent. But they don't regret nothing, believe me. They still have the same behavior of always. He set a narrative that is completely false. Okay, first of all, how can it be completely false if it was recorded? Yes, I know Kitchen Nightmares is dramatized, but still, it literally recorded you guys doing it. So how can it be false? Tell me other things. This is denial in its finest. They really made us seem like horrible people. They did make you seem like horrible people? Sure, it wasn't like when you went. Fuck yourself! Go, you motherfucker! Or even like. I will fuck with you. Yeah. Who the fuck you think you are? Or like. Fuck you! Don't fuck are you! you me? No, I'm kidding. I'm fuck you! Wait, let me recap that. I think I heard some words that shall never be said. <laughs> fuck you! Don't fuck you! Are you kidding me? No, I'm kidding. Dude, have you seen this? He literally spoke the N word. This is something that shall never be said. It's pretty offensive. Well, they have said the dramatizing in Kitchen Nightmares made them look bad. But as a matter of fact, we can just look at their behavior and see there will be no need to dramatize nothing there because they are bad themselves. Look at this kind of behavior, like seriously, I have never seen someone behave like that. Our restaurant was extremely successful. Sure, okay, but why did you need God Ramsay's help if it was successful then? 
I don't understand. We had a lot of people, Yelpers, who would come in and order hundreds of dollars worth of food. And then after they had it, they would threaten to write negative reviews about us and not paying. We wanted help in navigating our way through social media. And we decided to do the show. Okay, so it's always the excuse that they were having a lot of people writing bad reviews about them, that they were coming to the restaurant to try to sabotage. This is basically what they tried to claim on Kitchen Nightmares that online haters and bullies were attacking their restaurants and this kind of weak conspiration but sincerely I don't believe that much because seriously look Amy criticism is something necessary it's something that life gives especially when something's actually not going well and it's good to listen to it so you can see what the problem is and fix it I mean I'm 18 years old you're 48 still I deal with criticism better than you do and then I noticed that they were bringing in the same people that had been harassing us. Holy Huskaroni, Amy. Are you more paranoid than Stan was? Seriously, do you think they want to waste their time going, trying to find the people that were criticizing you online and say, Hey, go to this restaurant, we're gonna let you have food for free, but you're gonna have your horrible experience of last time. Amy, stop being so naive. This is insane. He had a guy and he kept doing like, where's my pizza? Where's my pizza? We're waiting for one pizza. And Sammy was being nice to him. Sammy was being nice to him? Just go, you motherfucker! Just look at this guy. Look how nice he was towards the guy. And Laura, she's actually blaming him as somebody that was part of a conspiration against the restaurant. Like seriously, this is delusion at its finest. Going back to the main objective of this video though, well, Amy Bose Aglo had replied to me, both on YouTube and Twitter. I was originally planning to do this video later on, but as of yesterday, Amy decided to just give me some content to post here, so I got it. All this started after I finished watching one of Fondras' videos about Amy Bose Aglo, and I quickly managed to find this interview I show her on this video and I sent it all the way to Fundros on a comment. Fundros saw it and they made a video with it. As you guys can expect, Emmy went ballistic not only on Fundros's video but she also went on Cinnamonto Scan and many other YouTubers that spoke about her and literally replied to all comments in there. Then I went to another video of Emmy's baking company, Fundros's channel, and commented jokingly there that they should create a dramatized documentary on this show. But that's when I got a big surprise. There's just some hours, Emmy literally replied to my comments. And as you guys can see here by her reply, she definitely doesn't like furries and she's definitely anti LGBT, so she's probably homophobic like that, which is not nice. She also doesn't like anybody autistic after I mentioned I was autistic, here's her reply. She also accused me of being an imposter and I want to be imposter while I don't play Among Us woman. So what are you mentioning? I don't really know whatever you're talking about. And while some of you might say that account is a troll account of her, it's not a troll account. I went into it, took a look and there's a video of her cooking a uh, cake recipe. So it's not a troll, it's herself, believe me. Then I took a screen cap and posted it on my Twitter, exposing her replies to me. And well, the year went by, but just by about yesterday, she literally found my tweet and started replying to it. Well, now regarding it, I'm not sure if it is her or not. But by the way, Amy is, I think it is her. Okay, so I think there are three alternatives of why Amy is like this. First, she might be a narcissist and have some kind of personality disorder. Second, she saw she can get fame by doing this, so she's gonna keep appearing and doing madness, so she still has that kind of fame. And fourth, she's just a ass. Still, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and well, that was interesting. See you soon guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and Amy, if you're seeing this, just let this grudge go, there has been like 10 years since the episode happened, so just move on and enjoy life.